Welcome to our annual celebration of the holidays as we spend time with the artists who have practically moved heaven and earth to bring us tidings of comfort and joy this season, starting with Boston Ballet. What was once the unthinkable has now been thought out. Ballet, which so often simmers with the sensuality of bodies coming together, is happening again. It's different. The audiences are gone, masks are not, and the passion, it never left. The moment we were not able to do it, that's the moment we realized how we love doing what we do and how we need it in our lives. Tigran Mukherjee is a principal dancer with Boston Ballet. We met him in the company's studios last month, rehearsing for *The Gift*, a jazzy holiday program that, in the absence of live performance, is streaming now. What shape were you in when you came back into the studio? I was running daily, so didn't feel too bad, but it's a process to come back. It has been a process all around. Last March, the company was just hours away from opening its production of *Carmen*, seen here in this dress rehearsal, when artistic director Miko Nissinen shut it all down and sent his dancers home. We were very lucky because I think we were the first organization to do that. I saw this freight train coming, and I just, I was really concerned. Eight months and many canceled programs later, the ballet has lost approximately ten million dollars, laid off staff, and reduced both work and pay. Everything costs. We're closed for business on Fridays.、Um, dancers have a reduced、uh, number of weeks guaranteed, but we kept the company together. Nowhere near ready for a final bow, and with some philanthropic help, Nissinen has turned his attention to video. Hello, public. Here we are, Boston Ballet, really at home.、Everyone. This fall, Boston Ballet rolled out "BB at Your Home," a virtual season that premiered with an hour-long look at the work of William Forsythe, including conversations with the choreographer and freshly danced pieces. My trick to that is I don't try to entertain. I try to connect with human beings. I want to stimulate thinking,、uh, massage the heart, and create lots of room around the soul to exist. Everybody is cooped up. Everybody is more edgy. Everybody is more sensitive.、So、we focus on little smaller things and try to touch people. Which brings us back to Boston Ballet's cavernous studios, where dancers are working once again. That's six, seven. Eight, four, one, two, three, four, five. Soloist Kirsten Fentroy has choreographed the gift's opening, set to the overture of Duke Ellington's Nutcracker Suite. There's so much texture in this one piece of music. It feels a little bit like you're at a jazz club, but then it also feels like romantic in one point, and then it feels almost dark in another point. We're not used to seeing people bodies together. Did you have to be mindful of that as you were choreographing it? Yeah, at, at first it was it was a little tricky to to think about how people might feel uneasy partnering each other, being too close to each other, trying not to group people together. But we work in pods. Just as professional sports leagues have quarantined teams, Boston Ballet has divided the entire company into five pods of about ten dancers each. Week in and week out, dancers rehearse and perform only with members of their own pod. The ballet is bearish in reminding about social distancing. And sanitizer comes by the drumful. We have self-medical test every morning, temperature checklist, weekly testing, social distancing.、Uh, you know, teaching from one studio into six other studios. Music works on my end if you want me. To yes, even dancers are on Zoom. It totally works. There are some times that you know, internet can be glitchy or things can be slow. I think one of the hardest things about working virtually from studio to studio is like the slight delay in music. But that's nothing compared to what it took the company to get back in shape. After the spring lockdown brought an abrupt end to their six-day-a-week schedule of eight-hour-a-day workouts. When we're at home, a lot of us are in apartments, so we can't jump or anything like that. I told them to approach coming back, come back like you came back from major injury. 
you have to build yourself back in that manner. Otherwise, your body will break. But Boston Ballet has proven to be unbroken, as we saw when the gift wrapped. As part of the program, the full company also gathered for the first time since the pandemic started, taking to the streets for a socially distanced showstopper in front of the Opera House, their non-pandemic home. My energy just went through the roof. I saw a video of myself dancing, and my energy was through the roof. But I think that's okay. <laughs>